All right, guys, this is a video on a 2010 Malibu non-hybrid. And customer concern on for this one is that he said when he presses the gas pedal, well, the car doesn't want to go above 30 kilometers an hour. So, as you can see right here, we do have a check engine light on. I have the hotel hooked up already, but I have not scanned it. So, I want to do that with you guys. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to do an auto scan. We're going to do a standalone diagnostics. And that is the correct VIN. I have no idea if it's a 4 speed or a 6 speed. And yes. I don't really think that matters for what we're going to be doing. So, so the first thing that we're going to do is scan for codes. And I'm worried more about the check engine than any other codes, but we're going to do a full system scan. I'm going to pause you guys while this is doing its scan. All right, so we are back. And as we can see right here, our engine control module has one code. So we're going to go straight to there. We're going to go straight on trouble codes. We're going to go to read codes. And we want all active and history codes, if I'm not mistaken, with GMs. current and history and we have a P2135 which is a throttle position sensor 1 and 2 correlation so right now it is passed and failed and it is in history so what we are going to be doing is escaping this since it is a history code we're gonna back up one more time we're gonna go to freeze frame we are going to go on to our freeze frame for this one and we want some throttle so our indicated throttle position number one and our throttle position number two I don't know if you can see that right there and desired is at 33 so if we go on to show so when this fault happened the throttle position number one indicated position was at 21 the throttle position number two was at 41 at 43 sorry and it wanted it to be at 33 so right there if you see if your indicated position one and your indicated position two those are completely off so what we are going to be doing is going back going into some current data and this uh let's check out the failure record just to see yeah so 22 and number two was at 33 so on this one too was the same thing this one had an error fault this one had a fault right here too oh boys huh okay well we'll deal with that if, if it arises all right so we have 22 we have 33 and uh, desired is at 31 so that's a little bit closer our 33 31 but our number one is still at 22 so we're still off by a couple of degrees there well percentage there so we're gonna back out we're gonna escape this we're going to go into some live data and we're going to bring up those exact same data onto the hotel. Now, if you remember, we had like 21, 33. Okay, so we have desired. We have actual. Uh, reduce engine power. We are good. 
So the one and two, they agree together. That's good. That wasn't into our freeze frame. Uh, our oh, throttle position one, throttle position two, indicated, indicated, and make sure we're not missing anything else. Nope, that's it. So here we have. The list. Now, if we look and we see our throttle position desired angle is at 19, our indicated is at 19, so we're good on that one. Our throttle voltage is at 3.67 at idle and 1.29 onto our number two. Now, the way that this one works is that they work on to reversing the uh, voltage. So I'm just going to take these guys off for a minute. We're going to just show those two. I'll go back. So whenever I give gas, uh, my number one is going to go down, and my number two is going to go up in voltage. As you can see right there. The car is running right now, so it won't let me go up uh, past a specific voltage. But as you can see, it is working properly right now. So we're going to go back one more time. Now, not all... Uh, all vehicles are going to act this way. Some are going to go up at the, the same. Some are going to be reversed. It really depends on the manufacturer and what they want to do. So, uh, okay. So, 18 and 18. And throttle position 1, throttle position 2. And there was something else I wanted. And that agrees. Indicated and desired. There we go. All right. So, we are back on this. So if you see uh, down at the bottom, down here, we're looking at our indicated and indicated is 26, 25 onto both. And if I give more gas, well, it goes up, it goes down. And they stay pretty constant. Our throttle position desired and indicated, same thing. They stay pretty constant. So right now, the fault is not present as indicated by the code being in history, but I have dealt with these codes before and most of the time it is a throttle actuator that actually ends up messing up and one of the potentiometers on the inside just sticks and it doesn't want to go anywhere. So this is pretty much just a short video to show you guys that this, uh, that a system is working properly but how to maybe look at the freeze frame to see if there was an actual issue with the throttle and on this case there was. We're just going to go for a quick road test with the vehicle and we'll see uh, if anything happens during a road test. But like I said, right now, the issue is not even present. So, so I don't like throwing parts at cars. Looking at the data of the freeze frame and looking at the data of the current, we can see that there was an issue. So it was probably a potentiometer on, inside the, the throttle actuator that actually got stuck. And that's what ended up causing the code. So in this scenario, so that the client doesn't stay stuck, I'm going to suggest that he think about changing it or he can wait and see if it messes up again and uh, we'll fix it uh, when that happens. But at the end of the day, it's going to be the client's decision. So I'm just going to let them know, give them my suggestion and we'll see what they want to do. So I'm going to try my best to keep you guys focused on the screen so you guys can see the data work. And yeah, these two we're actually going to put into a graph. I like putting these ones in graphs just so you guys can see them. All right. There. So now we're going to go on a road test and you guys will be able to see how this system actually works. We're just going to be looking at our uh, throttle position desired or angle, one and two agree, and the voltages. This car has some major rattles into it. This is on a big throttle. 
wide open. And as you can tell, well, it's working the way it's supposed to. Now I'm gonna take that off graph and we're gonna look at our uh, our throttle one and twos, make sure that they're correlating the way that they're, sp they're supposed to. Sorry for the shaking hand. Just gonna pull over. We'll reset this. So, I don't think we need those voltages anymore. So we're just gonna take those off. And we'll click on show and then we'll click on show again and we'll take our 19 and now we're gonna take and put our indicated position on one and an indicated position on two and we're gonna see what they say as you can tell we're reading the exact same right now so We looked at the data. The data told us everything was going good. So we're just gonna back up. I'm just gonna go take a look at the freeze frame data one more time. Oh, wrong one. Freeze frame. See if there's anything that maybe I missed. Well, let's see. So our engine load was at 42, closed loop. Uh, 86 on engine temp, short term, long term, we're good there. Engine speed, vehicles, the speed sensor, he was traveling at 91 when it happened. Spark, IAT, minus six, mass airflow, we're good there. Throttle position, one, 35. Throttle position sensor, two. 35, 43, indicated on one, and it doesn't even want to give me indicated on two. Okay. So, we have roughly a, well, let's just say eight, eight percent difference on throttle position one and throttle position two, and I'm guessing that's enough for it to set a code because that's the only thing that I see off compared to our test drive with everything working properly. Failure record. This should give you the dates when this, these things were made so I know which one's older, which one's newer. Loop status, engine load. Well, that's not good. It's not even giving me the engine load. Coolant temps at 87. Uh, minus 3 map, 102. Engine speed, 0. Vehicle speed sensor, 0. So this was... Uh, engine speed, 0. The car wasn't even started when this one set. Okay. Interesting. Minus two, we're good there. Zero grams, car's not started. Throttle position sensor one's at 36%. The car's not started and it's already at 36%, so. Uh, and throttle position sensor two is at 33%.
So I'm gonna go with my first with my first guess. I'm gonna trust my gut on this one. Because I know that these numbers are supposed to be pretty much identical. And right there we can tell that it's not. There might be other issues with this system. But at the same time, I'm not seeing anything that could be related. Anything else related to that except for the... Uh, pass, pass, pass. ECM, PCM. Received. Okay. So even that's in history. Radio, not worried about radio. So... Like I said before, I'm going to let the customer know what I think could possibly be the issue. And we're going to go from there. But I'm also going to let them know that there might be another issue based on the freeze frame data showing that the ignition one uh, signal voltage was at 0 0.05 volts when it should be between 9 and 18 volts. So I'm going to leave this video be like that. Hopefully we, you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time.